Back in 2023, I predicted that the Milwaukee Bucks would win the NBA championship. I mean, why couldn't they? With the addition of Damian Lillard to their already loaded roster, it seemed like a solid pick. I also fell in love with the idea of a Giannis revenge tour. Remember how it ended last year? When he lost 4-1 to the 8 seed? Granted, they were the greatest 8 seed in NBA history, but Giannis is a bona fide champion, and he probably lost a lot of sleep over that. Fast forward 4 months, and I'm here to say that I am officially changing my pick. Who am I changing it to? Stick around to the end of the video, you'll find out. So why am I changing my pick? Are any of the stars injured? Nope. Is it because their record is dog shit? No. Is it because I really believe in any other team? No! No! It's because the Bucks acted quickly and stole the recently fired Doc Rivers like a thief in the night. Oh yeah, that's the guy who's gonna put this team over the top. Did you know that Doc Rivers is an NBA champion as a head coach? It's pretty weird if you didn't. Because it only happened 16 years ago. 16 years ago, Bush was president, my balls hadn't dropped yet, and Kevin Durant still played for the Seattle Supersonics. Yet somehow, this man has managed to go from one talented team to the next, to the next, and obliterate any chance they might have to win an NBA championship. It truly illustrates the old adage. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Stop right there. Did you know that the channel just hit 69 subscribers? How poetic. Just like 69ing, subscribing is great for both of us. You get weekly content and I get a blow it. Please hit that button. Thank you. Let's do a run through of Doc's resume since his illustrious title run back in the recession. He stayed with the Celtics until 2013, right about the time when they started crumbling. After parting ways with Boston, he ended up going to LA and started coaching the Lob City Clippers. If you don't remember this team, let me jog your memory. This team is responsible for the greatest basketball highlight of all time. The Lob. Jesus Christ, bro. Are you seeing this roster? Jamal Crawford, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, Chris Paul, JJ Redick. This is back when they were all in their prime, by the way. And this is the same team that was infamous for never making a conference finals. If this team had a real head coach, they would have won a championship. But what's crazier is that Doc outlasted all of those players I just mentioned. It ended up taking the Clippers blowing a 3-1 lead back in 2020 for the front office to say, yeah, Doc, uh, we've seen enough. That was the third 3-1 lead that he's blown in his career. No other coach has more than one. Boy, it's going to be hard for him to find another job now. Less than 24 hours after Doc Rivers came to town for an interview, the Sixers are ready to hire him. Sports director Don Bell is here with the breaking details. Hi, Don. Yeah, the Doc is in the building. Sources have confirmed to CBS3 that the Sixers have reached a deal with Doc Rivers to become their new head coach. Wow. And you're telling me that Mark Jackson can't get a job? Doc's time with the 76ers went about how you would expect. Three years with the team, three losses in the conference semifinals. Every year, he had a top two player in the league and a pretty good supporting cast. But that team did have one glaring problem, and his name's Doc Rivers. Now he's off to the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that's pretty good, but they're off to a pretty bad start with him at the helm. Teams cannot win in spite of Doc Rivers, no matter how talented they are. And that's why I have to change my pick from the Milwaukee Bucks to the Denver Nuggets. They're my home team, they're loaded, they're bona fide champions and I don't see any team competing with them in the West. And looks like Boston or Miami is going to make another finals this year. Sorry, Milwaukee. I really believed in you guys until you went and shot yourself in the foot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Next week, I'm going to be talking about the old guys of today's NBA.